Hey guys, we're just gonna put it right back where you have it. <laughs> uh, I'm working on trying to write cleaner material, you know, but I'm struggling. Honestly, it just comes down to if it doesn't have a dick in it, I don't find it funny. But that explains why growing up, I always thought my mother was hilarious. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll address the elephant in the room. Uh, my mother was a hillbilly. My father was a carnival worker. Just means I don't know which side of the family I got my teeth from. <laughs> Growing up, I had a single mom, man. Um, Dad pretty much came and went. You know? like, he never got to see me graduate high school. The fact that I didn't is irrelevant. I, I just don't finish many things. You know, I didn't finish high school, got a GED. I didn't finish college, but that's why my wife was the perfect match for me, because when we would have sex, she would never finish. <laughs> no, raised by a single mom. I will say, though, for someone so tired all the time, she sure fucking screamed a lot. <laughs> Actually, it was a house full of women, you know, mother, aunt, sisters. Uh, there was so much estrogen in the air. That's the excuse I still use for having tits today. <laughs> don't, get me, don't get me wrong, you know, being raised by women as an adult, shit's great. You know, it just means I like potpourri and don't fucking touch my decorative towels. <laughs> as a child, though, it can be confusing. You know, mom decided to give me the talk at age five, but that was the only time she did. So for a number of years, yeah, so for a number of years, I just dreamed of seeing a girl's penis. I'll be honest, the upside of that story, it's 2020 and I assure you, dreams can come true. <laughs> My brother recently told me he was anti-Semite. I had to ask him, I said, what did the Jewish people ever do to you? He said I wasn't listening, he just hated tractor trailers. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta let him sink to let you guys catch it. All right. <laughs> uh, My sister's an anti-vaxxer. I had a conversation with her. I said, look, autism isn't caused by vaccinations, but even if it is, are you telling me you'd prefer to have a dead child instead of one who's just really good at blackjack? <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Pittsburgh, and uh, I came up here today, and boy, oh boy, you have some fucking homeless people out here. Uh, it is like a bad video game. Like, this guy wants change. This guy wants a cigarette. You get to the boss, he wants change and a cigarette. <laughs> no one told me, no one warned me there was a bonus level, too. After that, a guy just walks up to me and goes, I want a sandwich. <laughs> well, shit, hashtag me, too. <laughs> Apparently, I'm the type of guy who just looks like I carry around extra sandwiches. Like he's been asking me, I got ham and cheese, I got you. <laughs> Furthermore, it's a rough economy. I can't afford to be giving away my traveling sandwiches. <laughs> Guys, I don't understand coffee fully. Like, not all parts of it. Like, decaf doesn't make any sense to me. I just felt like, why would you buy something that's already broken? Like, decaf, decaf is about as effective as the D.A.R.E. program was in school. Decaf reminds me of a guy with no fingers. Pointless. <laughs> I was, I was in Erie, and I was telling this joke, and believe it or not, the lady I pointed at, she lifted up her hand and said, I love decaf, and all she had was a thumb. It was crazy. Yeah, I didn't know how to react. I spoke with her after the show. She has an amazing personality, which is great, because she gives a real shitty hand job. <laughs> That's a little rough. That's, I like that one, man. <laughs> Why, why is coffee so aggressive? Like, like it's always been. Like, you know, the old imagery, you look back, see an older man sitting at the table drinking his coffee. How? Black. Why? Because he had something to fucking prove. Seriously. You show me somebody who says black coffee is as good as it is, I'll show you a fucking sociopath. But the problem is, the advertisements are aggressive. Like, the best part of waking up is folders in your cup. You got a wife, you got kids, you got a house, you got a fucking boat, but the best part of your goddamn day is a shitty cup of coffee. <laughs> you know, I'm not buying it. You know, Some years ago, um, coffee tried to get rebranded. You know, Starbucks wanted you to think that coffee was a calm and pleasurable experience. But honestly, Starbucks just reminds me of RuPaul. 
Like, yeah, they're both beautiful, but underneath they're still fucking strong and black. Yeah. <laughs> and things are gonna get intense if either one of them are inside of you. Yeah. Gavin Johnny Smith, guys, thank you very much. I love you.